if you look down inside the scoop, you can't really see the air cleaner. You can see the top, but it's not really up inside there. And, and I'm sure it's still functional, it's doing its job, but I want to get an air cleaner that fits up more inside the, the scoop here and kind of gets that ram air effect and take advantage of the scoop. <laughs> What's up guys, my name is Andy. In this video, I'm gonna replace or upgrade the air cleaner on my Mustang to something that's gonna fit a little bit better inside the cutout from my scoop. This is one of those things that it's probably not even gonna be a measurable difference in performance, but I've got that scoop cut out and I kinda of like that, that ram air effect that you can get from a scoop to get the air right to where you want it. I don't have the, I'm not in the position to get some you know individual throttle bodies and that kind of stuff, which would be fantastic, but in the meantime, I think I can maybe improve this a little bit. When we close the hood, the way this is cut out and stuff, it actually kind of sits, you know, kind of splits the, the air cleaner and it, it kind of covers it a little bit. In fact, because of the height of this filter that I have on here, I actually had to take the phenolic spacer that I had between the carburetor and the intake manifold. I'd take that out just so it would fit underneath the hood here. I could, I could get a thinner air cleaner a filter here and, and then put that spacer back in. But ultimately I want to get something to where this air that's coming in through the scoop is, is feeding into the air cleaner. So I got an idea and I went and tried to find one. This, I don't know if this is a standard cutout size. I cut this out in an older video, uh, probably because I'm going to be getting a different hood eventually. So I really wasn't worried about it. So I just kind of cut out just a generic size. So I was limited on the width and the length and stuff. And so trying to find something online that would fit that I did find something and I got this unit here from Summit Racing. This is actually a little nicer than I th thought it was going to be. I thought this was, even though it said aluminum, I just assumed it would be some thin piece that was either stamped or I wasn't paying attention as much as I, as I should have been. This is actually pretty heavy duty. These, this is a cast aluminum and it's polished and it's cut. I mean, this thing is, this is pretty deluxe. So A, I like that. That's awesome. Uh, it is heavy. <laughs> uh, that is a lot heavier than, than this steel setup I have here. But what I like is that this is going to give me the shape that I need that will fit, you know, more up inside the, the, the cutout here. Um, and kind of, I like this look. Uh, I wanted something like this when I was going for, for this filter, but I didn't put a lot of effort into it. And I think we got something now. Uh, I'm not sure that uh, I'm super positive, super wild about the polish nature of this, uh, partly because I've got a lot of black components and then that raw aluminum uh, color in my engine bay. So maybe something like painting this black down the road, I might do that just to kind of get it to, to fit a little closer to what I got going on in the engine bay. But this is a pretty nice unit. So, and then because of this, I'll be able to put that, that phenolic spacer back in there and, and, and get this thing raised up uh, to where I want it. So let's get this stuff apart and we'll put this on there and see how it comes out. You know, one of the fun parts about putting something like this on is it's minimal tools to do this. And uh, so you don't need to go buy a bunch of fancy stuff to make this happen. So I kind of like that part. So just setting this on here, just getting it in place. Um, I can, I already like that I have more access to the stuff around here. As I'm continuing to dial in the carb and just make things perfect, I don't necessarily have to take the air cleaner off to get to this stuff. And with that larger one that I had, it did take up a lot more space and it required me, I'd have to remove it to get to some of this stuff. So I do like that already. So what I want to do, let's go ahead and close the hood and we'll see how this fits up inside here and see if it's tall enough um, and see, see where we come out with height. All right, as we close the hood, we can kind of get an idea. See, I can already tell that this, this air cleaner is gonna fit inside that, that black trim that I have. So I already know that it's gonna fit up inside, so that's good. I can tell by just looking at it from here. Uh, so let's go ahead and continue to close it. All right, so we can see that we've got probably an inch that we could come up with that air cleaner and it would sit up inside the scoop, which is exactly what I'm looking for. So this is perfect because I wanted to put that phenolic spacer in there and this uh, it looks like everything's going to fit. So let's go ahead and take that off and get that done. And speaking of taking things off, you know what? If I take off this coat, you'll get to see my shirt that I sell on my website at cruisebuild.com. This is, of course, it's got my, my logo on here, Cruise Build, but on the back, it's got, it's got my car um, and just a you know one of my first designs. And I did want to point out 
The reason why I did this shirt, this, this particular shirt is soft and I, I follow a lot of other YouTube channels and I'm guilty of buying their merch, their shirts. I wanna support them. I like their designs, I like what they do. So I wanna do the same thing for my channel. So I, I got these shirts made, and I, but I wanted it a quality shirt. I didn't want just a cheap cotton shirt that you, you know, that's $2 on the shelf and they stamp a thing on it and they sell it. Unfortunately, some of those shirts that I have from these other YouTube channels, they are cheaper shirts and I really wish they were a little bit nicer. Um, and so when I was sourcing this stuff out, I really wanted something that was a good quality, good fit. Now I'm a little huskier than some of you guys, so um, it's a little fits me a little tighter than some of you guys might might fit you. But I wanted something that was a nice shirt, and I keep saying that because if I'm gonna wear it, I don't want to I don't want to feel something that just feels stiff and rigid and is is not nice. And so this is why I got this design. So on this design, uh, I know this doesn't fit everybody. Not everybody has a white Mustang. Not everybody has a fastback. Not everybody has a '66. Trying to find the right design. Where I'm going with this is um, I want to hear from you guys. I want to make more of these shirts. Uh, this is kind of something that's kind of fun to, to put out there. And but I don't know what designs everybody wants. Uh, do you want something that again has my car on it because it's my channel, or would you want something that's a little more generic that just said Mustang on it, or maybe it had a popular Mustang like the Shelby GT350 is is something that's it's a you know it'd be a dream of mine to have that car, but do you want something like that, or do you want something that that uh, is some just some graphic design or something? I'm trying to keep something that's that's local to my channel, but also kind of fits everybody. Because uh, I know a lot of you guys don't have this car; you have a different Ford car or something like that. And you watch this stuff, and you take some of these ideas and you put them on your car, which is fantastic. I want to make a shirt for you too. So if you guys would just let me know in the comments the kind of designs that you would like to see then maybe I can come up with a little bit better design and put on my website and you guys can get that and we can just keep going with it. So anyways, let's get back to taking this thing apart. So another advantage I have is I've got this, also I've got this spacer ring on here too that helps elevate the air cleaner a little bit higher. So I'm gonna leave that in place and let's put that, that phenolic spacer on below and see if that gets everything high enough. Uh, here's another opportunity for another merch plug or, or product plug. This uh, throttle linkage is something that I'm also offering on my website too. If any of you guys were paying attention, I dropped the nut from my throttle linkage down below here. I don't know where it went. I don't know if I'll be able to grab it with this. There it is. This last nut is protected by this, the valve here for the ported timing, so I can't get a socket over this stud, but that's okay. Now I want to put this spacer underneath here, and I don't think I need to disconnect the the uh, gas line or anything. I think we can just pick this this up. Yeah, there we go. Uh oh, and I dropped. Oh boy, dropping washers. Forgot about those. Now I got to chase those down <laughs> underneath that valley again. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Got those out, now we can, now I've got this gasket here, and what I had before was a different type of gasket that I'm gonna put back on the bottom. Oh, I tore that, gosh darn it. I had, I had this gasket, so we're gonna put this guy on there. go now we can put the spacer on then we can put this back on and the carb in place there we go before we bolt the car back in place and hook up the throttle linkage let's just go ahead and set the air cleaner on here and see how it fits with the air scoop Go. 
just like that. All right, and close the hood. Let's get closer. Yeah, see, everything is still, you can still see there's, there's some space. There's probably a half inch or so on either side. All right. Oh boy, that's close. So, you guys can't really tell, but it looks like the air cleaner, the top of it, is resting on the underside here. I might have to take that little, that little spacer, that little ring that I have on top of the carb. I might have to take that out, see if that fits a little bit better. I'll take this off and we're just gonna pull that ring out. Place this back on there. There we go. Now this is still, we'll have to see if that's still too high. We might have to cut that down. All right. Lids closed and latched. There's plenty of space. Gosh, I don't know. It's almost like, like half of that ring that I took out would be perfect. I mean, this is going to be fine, really. We're, <laughs> the performance difference is really not going to be anything, but I just like the fact that that fits up inside that scoop. That's something I was trying to go for. And it looks like that stud, uh, we don't need to cut that down. That's going to work. So, all right, I can go ahead and finish bolting everything up. You know, I was noticing when I was uh, securing the carb to the intake manifold that it kind of sucked it down a little bit. I wonder if that will be enough to pull everything down and I can put that spacer back on here. And uh, so I might try that and see, because everything, and then once you tighten the, the air cleaner down, it might suck it down a little bit more. And I might be able to use that spacer that I wanted. Oh, here's another look at that slick custom throttle linkage that you can get from cruisebuilt.com. Putting this back on there. There we go, that sits good. I did want to point out that this air cleaner comes with this um, Allen head stud that, because this has got a, a chamfered edge on the top here, right there, this thing fits in there and it makes a nice clean install. However, I'm in here often enough taking things apart and just tweaking things that I don't want to chase an Allen key. I just like that typical spin style that goes on the top here. And the, the wing nut that I have is not fantastic looking. I'm gonna have to get something nicer, but I don't know if I want to use it. I like having just that quick access, pull it off. I don't need an extra tool for that. All right, this is the final fit. Let's see if I got a little lucky. Oh yeah, look at that. It's, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it is, Barely not it's just not touching the scoop, which is what I want. So yay, that's was exactly what I was looking for fantastic All right guys, so that's a win that uh, I Like this stuff when it comes out like you want I, I like the look I like this air air cleaner set Oh, there's a lot of guys that um, on previous videos. I've done with air cleaner stuff They talked about making sure that I had that the, the air cleaner was large enough to let the amount of air in that this carb needs. A real quick comparison, this filter area, the, the area around the whole filter, two inches tall, about 34 inches all the way around, that's 68 square inches of filter. You know, the air can come in through that. The hole that this thing plugs onto, that's five and an eighth. So what is that, 20 inches? So this thing is, you know, over three times more area to let the air in than the hole in the carb, let alone the throttle body, then, you know, down the throttle plates and stuff, that's even smaller holes. So it's plenty large enough to let the air in that we need, in case you guys are wondering about that. But anyway, so I like this design, I like this style. Again, I can get to stuff here easier. I don't have to take the air cleaner off, which is what I wanted. I'm not certain about this. I may paint this black. I know it's kind of a, a waste of having a polished surface and then you paint it black. It, but I think it'll look better with the engine bay, so I, I might chase that down. Maybe get a little bit different top uh, knob piece here for that. But other than that, guys, it fits up inside here, and that's what actually what I was trying to do for the one percent change in performance I'm going to get if I'm lucky. It's it's just a it's more of a look thing, and I'm happy. So and again, minimal tools to do this stuff, which is pretty cool. I'll put the part numbers in the description below, guys, if you're if you're interested in, in chasing any of those parts that I've got. Um, and if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. 
And if you subscribe, I appreciate it because it helps my channel out. And we'll see you in the next one.